that black girl magic, that black girl magic, got that black girl magic, that's that black girl magic, black 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 girl magic, that's that black girl magic. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video is going to be something quick. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can screen capture your full website. Um, this is more so for graphic designers. If you, you know, you create websites and you don't want to kind of do it on Canva um, like this. I mean, you can do it like this and just kind of put all the pieces together and show, you know, the website that way. Um, or it's a quick way that I actually taught myself that I do want to share with you guys. Now, you know, I don't gatekeep. I like to share information with you guys. Um, I did try to go out and get help. But unfortunately, people don't like to help other people. You know, they want to kind of keep all the information to themselves, however they want to do it. So I went in and did the research and I ended up finding one way that works for me. And in order for you to be able to use what it is I'm going to be showing you, you have to have Google Chrome. So if you do not have that, you simply just go um, to your Safari or whatever you have and just do Google Chrome download. Once you get done downloading that, you're going to come over to the Google Google Chrome software and you're going to put in full page capture okay this is a full page well full page screenshot i'm sorry full page screenshot and what's going to come up is you're going to choose this one the go full page you're going to do that it's going to have you download it you know you kind of do it whatever it says right here mine says remove from chrome i'm, I'm going to keep mine and as you can see this is the camera that's right here it does show you the steps and everything, how to do it. It's very, very easy. It's very quick. Um, so I'm going to actually show you exactly how it works. So pull up another tab. I'm going to go to Shopify Partners because this is what I have been using to kind of create, you know, different websites and stuff and kind of show off my work. So I go to stores. Um, if you don't have a Shopify Partners, I'm not even going to go through it. I actually can't even go through it. I don't even know enough for, for me. <laughs> So I'm going to go to the online store and you can choose whichever one that you want to do. Um, I'm going to choose this one. I do. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, you have seen this. I even did a video of me creating the banners. Um, but this is the full website. As you guys can see, I have the collections. You know, you if you want, I mean, people can even screenshot it this way. But the quick way is to go right here with the three dots like a menu and click view. And once you click view, you guys, make sure that your camera is up. So when you get done downloading the go full page, make sure that the camera is up right here and that's how you know that it's gonna work. So you're gonna just click that and it's gonna screen capture in progress. You're gonna just let it do its thing. And there you go. Quick, simple and easy. And you know, you want, you can go here right here. You can download the image. I mean, if you want, <laughs> That works for you. Um, I know I have a Mac, so I will screenshot. I would do Shift Command three, and I mean you can even do it like this. Just kind of crop it and have it like that, um, or you can just have it download itself. Whichever works for you, you do whatever works for you. But this is a quick and easy way that I found. Um, so once you able, you know, to get that full screenshot, then you will basically come over to Canva. And then create a, I would say, an Instagram post. You can create a story post. Um, let's actually do all those. Let's do an Instagram post and a story post. And I'm going to show you how it looks. So you're just going to go to uploads. If it works. <laughs> it's going to upload there. So this one is the Instagram post. You just grab it. And you can do however you want to do it. You can bring it just like this. The way that I do it is just have it like this. I go to edit image and I go to shadows. I use shadows for literally everything that I do um, with business cards. However, this is how I do my mock-ups. Um, I know it's templates that's templates file that's for PSD, which is for Photoshop, that you can actually just go in and kind of do it that way. Um, unfortunately, my Photoshop with this laptop is saying that um, it says something was full. So I'm not going to be able to go in and show you guys that way. But I will once. Um, I'll probably actually do a video on that for my desktop. 
So I'm just going to go in and you find whatever picture it is on here that you want to use. Because I used her, I'm going to actually use her. So you just go down. And you just find that picture. And it's right here. And then with this, I mean, if you want, you can either just have it just all the way like that. You know, to keep the background. Or you can remove the background. Like I said, you do whatever works for you. I'm going to position, I'm going to put it backwards, and you see how that looks. You can have it like that, and you can just go to transparency, and you can actually just pull the transparency down. Um, I would say put it to like right there. And then come back over here to elements. And then I'm just going to choose a rectangle, and I'm going to choose black. And again, this is how I do it, okay? You do it however you want to. Like I said, I was. this is just how I do my mock-ups. I do it either in here or I do it in um, Photoshop. Either or, it's whatever works for you. Then I go to text, and I just put my information in. I just do website development. And then put by all the GFX. And then I put my website. Okay, so people know where to come to, people know what the business name is, and what exactly is it that I'm showing off. People will still ask, that's just what they do, but this is just how I do my mock-ups to be able to post on my social media. So I put it just like that, and I have it just like that. So like I said, this is an Instagram post you can have, and then for the story, you should have a story to match it. So you can be able to post it on your news feed and then also post it, you know, on your story. And you just do the exact same thing that I just did. Edit image, shadows, go to the drop. I turn my offset all the way up to four or five, whichever one works. And then I go and grab the picture. I go and grab the picture and then just size it up. Position goes backwards. Transparency. We'll bring the transparency. I will probably have it like this for the story. You can have it like this. You can make it longer and have it like that. I mean, it's however you want to do it. So this is for the story. And this is for the Instagram. And that is exactly how you are able to capture a full page of your website that you customize. And that is exactly how you do a mock-up. Like I said, Photoshop has it to where you would download, you know, but we're not going to even get into that. Let's just strictly just focus on this. So this is how you do it um, through the software that I gave you. And again, it's called Go Full Page, but you have to make sure you download google chrome to be able to use the go full page and the camera has to be up right here in order for them to be able to do its thing to capture the whole full website and you don't have to move it around or anything as you see when i did it it just capture and it moves itself so it can capture the whole full thing giving you these results okay um so that is actually it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe because I am dropping a lot of gems, kind of helping other people out. Go ahead in the comments and put some other videos that you guys are interested in. And I will see you guys.